C-NeuroCDSI is a tool for the diagnosing clinician to use with patients with dementia. It takes imaging biomarkers from C-NeuroC MRI to the next level by placing them in the context of different disease groups and other tests that have been conducted. For this patient in CDSI, we have C-MRI results as well as biomarkers from cerebrospinal fluid, neuropsychology test results, and genetic information. These data are compared to a large database of data from previously diagnosed patients. First, let's review the information presented in the etiology model. For this patient, the system suggests that Alzheimer's disease is the most similar diagnosis, with frontotemporal lobe dementia being the second most likely. The system then contrasts AD in red versus FTD in blue, and results are presented in this disease state fingerprint. If we click the box AB42 in CSF, we see the patient's value as the yellow line compared to the distributions of all previous AD cases in red and all previous FTD cases in blue. A disease state index, DSI, is then computed and indicates the probability that the patient belongs to the study group, which is AD in this case. Here, we see that DSI is close to 0.5 and the color of the box is white. If we click on the biomarker tau, we see that DSI is one and the color of the box is red. The size of the box shows the relevance of this particular biomarker in distinguishing between the disease groups of AD and FTD in this case. So with one glance, the clinician can get an overview of all data, see the importance of each biomarker, and view the most likely disease based on these data. In addition to the etiology model, there is a progression model used to predict the likelihood of a patient with mild cognitive impairment progressing to dementia. CDSI is totally data-driven and will be updated with additional disease groups and prediction models. Want to learn more about what's possible with CDSI? Schedule a full demo today.